Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a new builder to the channel. Again, we're today going to go in, we're going to see a model floor plan. It's called the Bella by Patel Homes. And we're right here in Evans City, about 45 minutes north of Pittsburgh, somewhere around there to downtown Pittsburgh. And Meadow Ridge is going to be about 25 family, uh, single family homes and patio type homes here in uh in the community so they are almost sold out but we're going to go in and we're going to check out this beautiful home behind me by patel homes I want to thank michael at patel let's go in and take a look at this video at this tour right now all right guys as we walk up to this gorgeous little courtyard home by patel you can see this is the bella floor plan it's going to be three beds two bathrooms a two car garage and 1593 square feet as you walk up you're going to notice the asphalt driveway that is standard here in meadow uh, ridge and it can you can upgrade into a concrete uh, driveway as well it's just going to cost you a little more and as you're looking at the siding here they come standard with the vinyl siding and as you see the stone is an addition so a lot of people like to go with that half stone uh, up the side of the house and then there were the cedar shakers above as well and as you enter into the home i want to say something real quick about patel about the exterior and, and some of their standard uh, features here before we get going with the, uh, the rest of the tour uh, they do have poured foundation walls in the house which is fantastic all right so they have their own in-house uh, uh, contractors own in-house uh, company that does the port foundation walls they work with the same tradesmen for years they have some tradesmen that they've been uh, some contractors they've been working with for like 20 or so years on the exterior they use a one inch foam board plus the fiberglass insulation which gives it a total r value of r25 which is fantastic it's going to keep you warm in the in the winter and keep you cool in the summer uh, so it gives you that little bit of extra and plus the soundproof it's going to shut off a lot of sound from the outside uh, uh, and also you have your, your single hung, uh, windows to go along with that, which you can upgrade to a double, double hung. As you enter the kitchen right there, you can see you got LVP flooring and that's going to be through 75% of the home, I believe. So it's going to be standard is going to be through the entryway, through the kitchen, through the dining room, the hallway, the living room there, uh, the laundry room, uh, and down the hallway, like I said, up to the, uh, to the primary bedroom and the other two bedrooms. And, as the appliances go, you get the standard, the dishwasher, the stove, microwave, and then the the uh, refrigerator is going to be actually going to be an upgrade, which is pretty common with builders. Um, what's going on that I see right now and standard for the uh, for the countertops is going to be a Formica. Now they do upgrade. They have a special going on right now where you can get the granite package is what you see right now. And then in the bathrooms and uh, in the hallway and the bathrooms in the primary, it's actually going to be a, a cultured marble, which is fantastic and very durable. So a nice look at the uh, at the entryway door right there. And you can see these are nine foot ceilings and that comes standard. And you can look into the open concept and we already went through the dining room there on the left as you walk in uh, which is nice that little pantry door right there which i already showed you got room for four right there sitting at the island the island was approximately eight feet uh eight feet long if you will somewhere around there uh, and then what's nice about the kitchen as we take a look at just another little hallway uh, little closet uh, there that leads actually into the two car garage behind me uh, they're using for an office right now and then yet another closet right across from that which you can use for maybe a coat closet or whatnot but what's nice about the kitchen for the stove is a lot of people prefer gas so they actually provide a gas and or electric hookup so they're all there you can hook up whichever stove you you would prefer some people actually prefer the electric but it seems like most people are going to want that gas as you walk up to this gorgeous little fireplace here which is obviously going to be an upgrade you can choose whether you want to do the, the stone the whole way up to the wall like you see here and then the stone mantle or you can do a half stone with a stone mantle or you can just do a drywall and just have drywall there. Now they did add on this, um, uh, the patio on the back is, is come standard, just the concrete patio. And so 
what they added on here is going to be when, once we step out, you're going to see the screen. Uh, so it'll be screened in. It has a nice little cover over top, like a roof basically over top. And right now they do have some specials as this, at the time of this video, they do have some specials where they're including some of these features. So the patio itself, the concrete pad is going to be standard. Now the screened in uh, walls like you see right there uh, for the two sides are actually going to be an upgrade in the future. But right now they have some specials going on where, where you can include those and along with the fans and you can actually the you can you can add lights on a a la carte basis so all the little pendant or uh the re recessed lighting that you see uh throughout the home you can actually add them or take them away you don't have to have four you can have two or you can add six you know it's it's up to you and, and how bright you want it how many lights you want so you can see it really has a nice open area and it was hot today it was like in the mid 80s i believe and i stepped out here and it was just cool because you have that roof for the shade and you get a little nice breeze coming through with the two walls being screened then you can have a nice little breeze out there so as you step back into to the living area from the patio you're gonna see I already showed the fan up top here so the fans the fan fixtures are not standard but they rough in so you can choose whether or not you want a fan or a light but they'll use a rough in fan box uh, in in the living area right there with the trade ceiling and also in all of the bedrooms as well so on the left here you're going to have two doors open up like basically like french doors uh, to your laundry area which is awesome to have right there once again this is one level living no basement no second floor so everything is on this one floor so you have plenty of room these are really 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 large washer and dryer right there you had the overflow pan underneath the washer and you have a hookup for washer uh, for the dryer as gas or electric you see that uh, 200 amp electric box on the left there as I close the doors and once again we we continue down the LVP flooring of the in the hallway on your right side is going to be the hallway full bathroom and this is going to be an upgraded double sink uh, double bowl sink as you step in there and you'll see the uh, the stained cabinets um from their uh, cabinet makers i believe that's coke k-o-c-h is their cabinet makers or manor house uh, is where they get a lot of their uh, their cabinetry and you can go and choose there and you go there and choose your designs and whatnot so all the fixtures you're going to see all the plumbing fixtures so far you've seen are black and so that's an upgraded feature as well all the plumbing the uh, the faucets and the shower head um, everything in there that's black is an upgrade so what comes standard is going to be a brushed nickel and they're all mowing uh, so they carry a mowing um, uh, uh, faucets and, and, and whatnot. That's the supplier they're going to use, which is, a you know, everybody knows them. It's fantastic. Uh, I really like, this is a cultured marble that you're looking at right here on the double bowl sink. Like I said, that is an upgrade. So normally it's just a single bowl sink with a cabinet underneath. Continue down the hall towards the primary. On the right is going to be your first bedroom. This bedroom is going to be, I think it's like 11, seven by 10 feet, four or 10 feet eight, something like that. So basically almost 12 by 11 feet. And these two bedrooms are gonna be pretty much the same size. You got a nice closet on the left there as you walk in. This is a queen size bed to give you a little bit of uh, um, uh, idea how large this room is. It's, it's not the biggest room whatsoever, but if you're just, you know, you're moving in, you're maybe you're retired and you're looking for a one level uh, living or whatnot you're you're an empty nester this is a great room to have uh for your guests you know that'd be perfect for them the bathroom's right outside they got plenty of room in here for uh for your clothes for a weekend or for a week or whatever you know it's it's not too tight at all uh, there's there's a really decent size here especially for a guest room and then we're going to continue back out into the hallway once again nine foot ceilings throughout and this will have the hookup for the rough in for the fan and we'll make a right and on the left hand side here that door on the left we'll check out in a second so on the right is going to be a linen closet uh, right in the middle of the hallway here so your guests can can store their you know you can have your towels and whatnot there for the guests for the first bathroom 
for that hallway bathroom. I'm going to turn around and we're going to look at this, uh, these two closets side by side here. So inside you're going to have your utility room basically. So you're going to have your hot water tank, which is a 55 gallon. This is going to be gas fed, uh, water tank or gas heater, gas heated water tank. And you can upgrade that to an electric and then have another upgrade. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's basically, I think it's like a tankless perhaps or something like that. Then the other one is just going to be your, your furnace access. Uh, so if you need to work on your furnace or you need to have a plumber come in and work on your furnace, your HVAC guy, it's right there for you. Uh, sorry if you hear my dogs barking in the background. I don't know what's going on outside, but I'm in my office right now. Like we're walking in the office right there. And you can see that they set this bedroom up as an office, which is a fantastic idea. I think it really showcases the, the diversity of what you can do just because you have a smaller three bedroom. Once again, there's only 1,500 square feet, but I think the use of space is great here. It gives you an idea. And once again, you have the same size closet uh, as you did in the first bedroom. Um, so plenty of room in there. It's really, it's quite wide. It's, uh, I think it's six feet wide. It's, uh, I forget how many square feet is in there. It's like three by six, something like that. Um, but anywho, you, you can tell that. So step back into the hallway, going to make a right into the primary suite and it's the end of the, of the, of the hallway here. It's the back of the house. You're going to have pretty much be really quiet tray ceiling was added here you got your recessed lighting and i would probably add a fan here if i if this were my home i definitely would want a fan in there because i love sleeping with a fan on in the evening or at night i mean uh, or if i'm taking a nap in the evening too because god knows i get tired sometimes i'm sure everybody else does but you can see that there's carpeting in all the bedrooms now this is a king size bed so you can definitely see the difference here um uh, of the size difference for for the different bedrooms this one's going to be quite a bit larger than the first two bedrooms and then there's also a walk-in closet here as i pan to the right which is a really nice size walk-in closet um so yeah you can do you can upgrade into built-ins which i leave a little bit of an idea right there with a built-in or you can just use the wire the, uh, the wire ones are really diverse it's really common i'm even seeing wire now in million dollar or two million dollar homes i've been seeing them in their closets so it gives you kind of like i don't know some diversity to move them around cut them make them different i personally you can go to ikea um, and, and get a really nice built in and design them yourself. Uh, so we walk in, you're going to see the bathrooms have a ceramic tile. So they went with ceramic, which is absolutely, uh, you know, very durable, very nice looking, looking tile. They didn't overdo it with the tile in here and make it look like uh, the Taj Mahal or anything, which I think is nice. It's a double bowl sink, which is standard with a cultured marble, which is standard behind me was going to be the linen closet. Uh, inside this bathroom here again with the wire shelving but it's fine it's a wire shell or it's a linen closet for your bathroom i think it works fine here you can upgrade you can meet with the top or with the uh, shelving guys and they can design something different for you if you would like this isn't like a crazy custom builder where everything is custom but they can make some changes they have plenty of things you can choose from as you look into the shower they went with the upgraded frameless um uh, shower door which hinge it's a double hinge so it, it hinges both in and out so you can push it in or you can pull it out uh, i really like how they took the tile all the way up to the ceiling makes it look really nice really clean i really like this tile the ceramic that they did uh, the the base of the shower looks fantastic and pan to the right is going to be your water closet. It's a simple water closet. It's got a fan in there and it's got a light. Obviously, they're going to have doors. Model homes tend to take their, their doors off so people don't bang up the walls when they open the, when they get all these, uh, everybody, the clients walking through. Sometimes they get a little crazy and uh, damage these walls. So they leave the doors off, uh, which is a, a smart thing to do for sure. Um, so as you turn around now that the cabinets underneath the uh, the double bowl sink right there, that's an upgrade. So it's basically going to be uh, two doors on each side, two doors under each bowl is what it would be um, as standard. But I like with the with the drawers uh, for sure. I think the door drawers are a nice touch right there. And we're going to walk back out and head back out towards the front here. 
and take one last look at this uh, this living space, the open concept, and the cabinets. The oak cabinets, uh, oak kitchen cabinets are, are standard. They have three different door styles. They have five stains you can choose from. These are painted. These are the upgraded ones. And over 150 different cabinet poles that you can choose from. Uh, and they come standard with crown molding. All right, guys, thanks again for watching this tour and staying to the end. That was a gorgeous home here by Patel. Very impressed with their build. Uh, quality is excellent. If you guys are looking to make that move to Pittsburgh, buy, sell, invest, relocate to Pittsburgh, give me a call. Let's get on a phone call, have a little conversation, see if we can help you make that move nice and smooth. Until next video, guys, keep it real estate.